My name is Sonia Petrone. I am a professor of statistics at the Department of Decision Sciences here at Bocconi. What are you currently working on? What is your research interest now? So, you know, I'm a statistician, a Bayesian statistician, and I generally work on, you know, all the areas of foundations, uh, theory, and applications of Bayesian statistics. So what are my current uh, research uh, areas of interest? So I would say I have uh, a general project uh, uh, that is uh, on uh, Bayesian prediction. The focus of a statistical analysis is prediction. No? You want to predict, you have information, you have data, you have possibly some inputs and you want to predict uh, uh, the response or an output. And, uh, and you want to do good prediction and also you want to know how reliable as, are these predictions. So there are Bayesian procedures for prediction that are optimal, uh, but uh, um, they may be slow to compute, especially if you have complex data sets, not complex data. So uh, the first project is uh, to find a possibly approximation of these uh, optimal Bayesian procedures that, are, however, are faster to compute and can also be computed with streaming data. So I want to find uh, you know, uh, 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 procedures uh, that can answer, be fast to compute and be still rigorous and reliable. And uh, when working on this project, uh, I was excited to see that what we were doing was also useful for a kind of more general problem. You know, nowadays we have plenty of these uh, uh, predictive algorithms, you know, from statistics, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence that uh, uh, can work very well, but uh, rarely we know how reliable they are. And so they are like black boxes, you know? And uh, so it's important that we can uh, understand uh, uh, how reliable they are or if they can fail. And so I was excited to see that what we were doing uh, using some foundational concepts in Bayesian statistics was uh, useful to reinterpret these uh, algorithms, these predictive algorithms, and uh, quantify the uncertainty, express the uncertainty formally uh, that in, in the prediction they provide. You know? And this is important because you want to understand how reliable your predictions are because then based on that you want to quantify the risk other work that is uh, more applied in um, collaboration with uh, uh, colleagues uh, uh, in the US, in California, and former students of the PhD in statistics at Bocconi, and it's in neuroscience. And uh, currently we are working on dynamic brain connectivity and, uh, and based on neural images. And that's also quite exciting, I think. Sounds fascinating indeed. Uh, how to make good predictions and how to apply statistics to our brains. Uh, really interesting. But I suppose it was a far cry from what you dreamed of becoming when you were a child. Well, when I was a child, uh, I didn't even know about statistics. No, at school I was studying arithmetic, so I'd say mathematics. No, but, uh, uh, so when I was a, a child, uh, I was not uh, thinking of anything like this. I wanted to be an archaeologist. <laughs> I wanted to be a painter or uh, maybe working in restoring paintings of the Renaissance time. <laughs> but then uh, evolved and then uh, I liked mathematics. Uh, and so when, after the, my high study, my liceo, uh, when I enrolled to college, uh, I, I had already in mind uh, to, to be a researcher. Uh, I studied mathematics and uh, with the idea of being a researcher. I didn't have a clear idea of what it meant, but I was, uh, you know, perhaps fascinated uh, of the idea of doing research, uh, doing my little contribution to the development of human knowledge. <laughs> Uh, then I learned, uh, thanks to, you know, I was lucky to have good maestri and so I could uh, 
uh, then learn and, uh, and find my way in this direction. But uh, yeah, from mathematics to statistics. Uh, and and so, what do you think is the key to becoming a good maestro? Hmm. Well, first you have to be a great researcher, to do your research at high level, of course. And then you have to be able, hopefully, to communicate it, to, uh, to transmit the passion for what you do, and for, for this work, for research, for what you're studying, um, being open, encouraging with young uh, students uh, and collaborators, critical when it's needed. Uh, but of course, you have to be a maestro, so you must be the, the best. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. It's been a pleasure talking to you. My pleasure. Thanks.